Hello, my name is Chris, and I'd like to welcome you to Faith Elements, where I like to explore the basic elements of a life of faith. Now, would you consider for a moment the idea that pain is a teacher? Pain can be a guide. Some say that pain is weakness leaving the body. Now, we spend most of our lives avoiding pain, both emotional and physical. Pain is nearly unavoidable. If a life well lived, though, is capable of being painless, we would find pain to be an, an exception and not a commonality. The key, of course, is how we respond. Response one is to dwell on the pain, to allow the pain to be a, a container that restricts our lives. When I was in my teens, I broke my arm and understandably it hurt. For about an hour before I told my mom, I laid in my bed holding my arm. I could think of nothing but the pain. The pain finally got so bad that I gave up on the idea that it was going away on its own and I sought help. I dwelled on my pain and it was my focus for quite a while until I realized we had to do something. I dwelled on my pain and our response, both physical and emotional, is often that we focus on it. But the funny thing about emotional pain is that we are often reluctant to seek help. Response two is to use the pain to grow and learn from the pain, to use it as a, a springboard to what's next. When it comes to physical pain, we often learn from our mistakes. Few of us will repeat the actions that lead to physical pain. When we are hurt emotionally, that can also lead us to a place where we never allow ourselves to be hurt in the same way. This can be good in some ways, but unproductive in some cases. We may avoid opening our hearts to someone in the same way after being hurt. We we may close ourselves off. In a, in a positive way, we may find that we are more cautious or at least more contemplative as to who we allow to come into our lives. While we might all agree that protecting ourselves from physical pain by making adjustments in our activities is a good thing, the emotional pain part is a little harder to explore in a short video like this. But one constant between physical and emotional pain is that there are times that we need to seek the help of a professional to help us heal and to help us understand our emotional and our physical health. But let's take a look at some wise words found in the Bible that speak to the emotional side of things. Psalm 147.3 says, He heals up the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Binding up denotes healing. Healing leads to growth. On the road to healing, remember that it takes little acceptance of the kind of healing that goes beyond our human capacity. But it's okay to seek help from someone who can guide you along that process. God has equipped people who can help us along the healing path. Know this today. If you are brokenhearted and have wounds that need binding, God is there for you and has promised healing. And that, my friends, is your faith element for today. Thanks for watching.